Hi, I'm Huey Morgan, and ahead of tomorrow's Barclay Card Mercury Music Prize, I was joined in the studio earlier by three of the year's shortlisted artists. It was Katie B, Everything Everything, and Metronomy, and we talked a little bit about the awards. So guys, how does it feel to be nominated? It's a big deal, right? Fantastic. But I, you know, you don't get your hopes up for anything mm -hmm. at all. So when I literally got out of the car to go into the nominations thing, then like my friends started texting me. Like they knew before I did. So. Oh really? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, like I mean, it's been really great, and like we've it's just because we've been touring so much, it's just really kind of I don't know, like given us this nice little extra mm. push. Yeah, and the thing we've noticed is people in other countries really are interested in it, mm. like yeah. in the States and South America and in like European countries. We've been answering questions about it like everywhere we've gone. Now, there are a lot of bands that were out there and made great records this year. Any bands that you didn't uh, see shortlisted that you thought should have been? I think J Jamie Woon should have been nominated. Really? Because well, I played iTunes Festival with him, mm -hmm. and his live show is just brilliant, and his voice is so beautiful, and I think he's a great songwriter and, and great musician as well. Like, he plays so many different instruments and produces his stuff as well. So, um, yeah, I think he was like... Yeah, one of my favourite people to come okay. out this year. So. We were definitely expecting Wild Beasts to be there on the list. Yeah, that was, was a lot of surprise. Really a lot of people were tweeting about that yeah. right, when yeah. it was announced that Wild We were. <laughs> yeah, we, we were. Right? Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. We felt Us. a bit... Um, well, very lucky, basically, because there are a lot of bands that a lot of people assumed were shoe-ins weren't on the list, and yeah. we were, so... Yeah. Yeah. This is kind of a weird question, but if it couldn't be you guys, or both of you guys winning, who would you like to see pick up the prize? I really like Ghost Poet stuff, actually. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I was touring with Tiny Temper earlier on in the year. Yeah, Adele how come he can't amazing. spell? His, he can't spell. <laughs> His name. Well, you have to be a bit different, don't you? You know, come on. It's showmanship. No? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, when you guys... Uh, when you Loving Criminals isn't spelled right, is it? No, it is. That's no G. Loving. Yeah, but like Loving oh. Spoonful. I mean, there's the, uh, it's grammatically oh, yeah. correct because there is that apostrophe there. That's true, yeah. Don't it's take me on, right. kid. <laughs> <laughs> you're touring a lot. You guys are touring a lot. How's it going with you? You're just doing a big UK tour. How yeah, I've got my um, tour coming up in November. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I'm looking really looking forward to it. It's been great sort of like being at all the festivals yeah. and feeling really sort of inspired. And also because my music is very like electronic and mm -hmm. very like dance based, um, it's been really fun like sort of turning it into a, a live setting. Because I feel like I want people to get a proper live experience when they come see me. I don't want it to just be like me and a CD or whatever. So uh, yeah, it's been great, it's been good fun. So if you guys had one record to take on a desert island, which would it be? Oof. I'd, I'd go with, like, I guess you want something quite long. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'd get, like, a Beatles album, because okay. they're, like, in, like, infinitely replayable. Yeah. That's, that's the beauty of, like, an album like Revolver, because mm -hmm. I don't think you'd get sick of listening to it over and over again. Yeah. <laughs> I might go with... Uh, I don't know, probably, uh, probably something like Pet Sounds, I guess. Oh, really? Okay. So, uh, which artist would you like to collaborate with, given any kind of circumstance? Uh, and I think I asked you this uh, at the Wireless Festival, and, and you said something completely bizarre. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, Kate, do you have anybody you'd like to collaborate with? I always say like my dream collaboration would be Alicia Keys yeah. because when I was like 11 she was like I just wanted to be Alicia Keys because I used to play the piano and I used to go and like buy all her songs and stuff mm -hmm. and try and learn them and she'd be like yeah I think I'd faint if she came into She's actually really nice I've met her she's yeah? Really, yeah she's a nice girl she, Yeah so yeah Alicia Keys is my, is my dream woman <laughs> And we'll leave it at that Yeah <laughs> <laughs> How about you guys? Oh, I I'm trying to remember what I said last time. It was so. It was probably Britney Spears. Probably Britney Spears. Yeah, it was. Yeah, 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 yeah thank you. <laughs> but uh, we've run out of time, like I said. My thanks to all our guests for joining us. And if you want to find out more, go to facebook.com uh, forward slash Barkley Card. Uh, and to have some fun. And I'll see you guys later. I'm Huey, and uh, that's Katie, and that's Astronomy, and peace out.